Hi everyone. So I'm going to do a really quick video about the bugs that are in my house. For the past three days I have been collecting these little bugs on tape. And I've been, they've been flying in the air and I've been catching them. And they're on the floor. They're coming through the screens. They're coming through the windows. Um, when the windows are closed, that's when they're coming through the floors. And then, this thing is also filled with them. Because they kind of fly. That's what those little buggers are. I vacuum up tons of these little bugs every day. They're in the litter box, they're on the floor, they're in all the cracks in the hardwood flooring. They're coming out of the seams in the walls, they're coming through the screens. They're not fleas, they're not termites. I don't really know what they are, but it's my routine every morning. There's a picture after I emptied the mini vac of how many I sweep up. So those little bugs also hide themselves in these cracks in the wood on the floor. So now I think I have to seal all of those. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to put a clear seal or caulk or something there so that they can't hide in there and breed in there. There's some more. And then there's two holes right there. They hide in there. They come out from under there, from the wheel well. More cracks. More cracks, more cracks. It's where they hide. And I'm not sure if they come out of there. More cracks that they hide in. They're also hiding in these grooves at times. I find them in the grooves. That's the wheel well too, so I'm wondering if they're coming through that crack. Those little buggers. Time for a session of catching bugs. Let's go see what we can find. Ruthless. Then I'll catch them in the air like that. And then I'll push them on there. And then that's where they usually are. I don't even have the windows open and there's just tons. Let's go see if we can find something by the litter box. I don't wanna get them. Time for a new piece of tape. Look at what we got on this tape. Don't know where they come from. Something's got to go. Nope. 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 They're in the kitchen, they're on the floor, they're in the shower. Complete pile of bugs on tape. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It's freaking disgusting. I caught all of these this morning. These little red bugs are even in my cat's water bowl every day. They're around their food. I just gathered up all of these.
just this morning, just in this past five minutes. These buggers like to feast on litter box stuff. So probably the stuff that's in that bag, which is their waste, and then the litter itself. So what I'm doing is I'm caulking this whole line so that they don't come out from there but then I'll caulk it on the inside too so that they can't get through. To keep these darn bugs out and from breeding in my house, I am caulking my shower. And I caulked all of that all the way up. I even caulked in there. And then I caulked down here so that they can't get through back there. Hopefully I got enough. I don't think I did, but uh, we'll do some more later. And then I caulked all of these lines so that they can't hide inside them. Holy cow, look at that big hole. It's a huge gap and they probably are in there and making babies in there, the bugs. So I'm going to cock it up. Now I'm going to try a suggestion that one of my friends told me on my page. Um, I'm going to mix some sugar and some baking soda and then put them in those caps and then put them uh, around the house, most likely in the cabinets. Now what this is supposed to do is the bugs of any kind will eat this solution. Uh, they're drawn and attracted to the sugar, but then they die from the baking soda. They also bring it back to the nest and feed it to the rest of them and they die too. So let's see if it works. Now that I have mixed up the solution, I'm going to divvy up this stuff in these caps. I really don't know how full they're supposed to be. I'm gonna keep this away from the cats put it in places that they can't get to, just in case they're curious. Like now. All right, so I'm gonna put these little bad boys around my house, and then I have some more if I need them. I can make some more, and let's see what happens. For right now, I put them in the stairs this way. The cats can't get to them, except for this one I put around the corner right there. Hopefully they won't see that. And then I also did in there. Up there. Right there. Now that was all seven of them, so I'm going to make some more so I can put them around the house. Put one behind the washer-dryer combo. One right there. One behind the separate toilet. Here are some methods I use to try to get rid of these bugs. Fly traps. I use the bags and the sticky tape. The bags I only put outside and caught thousands of them, but they were only good for outside because they stink. The fly tape is still hanging in my house. I also bought fruit fly containers. I wasn't sure if these bugs were fruit flies or some kind of other insect, so I decided to give it a try. Put a tablespoon of water in here and it should catch some flies. I only caught about five or six, so I'm not sure this is a winner. I covered my mini split with pantyhose so that bugs can't crawl into there. That seems to be working. Then I got a suggestion from a friend in 
one of the tiny house groups and she told me to fill bottle caps with baking soda and sugar. I made about 14 of them and put them around the house, but this method didn't seem to work for me because I think I added too much baking soda. I also tried diatomaceous earth. I sprinkled them around my wheel wells and also inside my cabinets. I also put them, put it in my toilet. I put some in my waste paper basket under the storage staircase. This stuff didn't seem to work for me as I still had thousands of these little bugs inside. Next, I tried using a mister sprayer. I still use this every day in my bathroom and hope that it helps, but I'm not sure if it's working either because I still see the little buggers. Use some kind of citronella or lemon or peppermint oil in the mister sprayer because that's what repels bugs. You could also use lavender. I've also had the weeds zipped around my house. Um, that will help with the bugs getting into the wheel wells or any holes that have not been sealed up underneath the house. I caulked the interior. I caulked along the bathroom floor, along the toilet, any gaps, under kitchen cabinets, behind the fridge, and anywhere where there was a gap that a bug can get through. I also bought a bottle of spray foam. Spray foamed underneath my kitchen cabinet and a couple larger areas. I also tried natural bug repellent. Since I make natural bug repellent in my business, I used that. There are bug repellent oils in there as well, like lavender and lemon and peppermint. I also changed my litter. I had corn litter and when the Orkin man was here, he said that it might have been the corn litter that was the source of the bugs. Yes, I had to change their litter mats as well because they had so many holes in them that I felt like it was being infested. I also sprayed weed killer on the exterior to keep the weeds away. Had the orchid man out and he sprayed the entire house. He identified the bugs as red flower beetles and that the source was the litter. However, he didn't look anywhere else to see if they were getting in any of the holes in my house. And last but not least, I had my whole house recocked by Incredible Tiny Homes, which was my builder. So hopefully the bugs will stop now. Look at what we have here. Feasting on all of this litter. Watch this. I simply blew on, blew on that. And they all started running. I gotta tape them up. 